The market finds a rally in the face of downside pressure. Does this mean the bears are out of steam? Find out next on Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so the market was about to break a key low today when the bulls found a rally and pushed it 37 points to the positive. They continued pushing after hours, and now the bears' backs are against the wall a little bit. The bulls still have some work to do, but they have an opportunity if they want it. Now, I'll get into all that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the NASDAQ and S&P 500. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. Okay, guys, so with the bulls pushing higher today, they have a chance to take control of the market. So let's jump into the charts and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one-hour futures chart for the S&P 500, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about key levels and how to find them, and I've taken a lot of the extra ABCs and 123s off of the chart because I know that gets very confusing for some of you, especially when you get, you know, wave three of three of C and into that kind of thing. So today we're gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna show you how to find these key levels. And then, okay, once the market clears up here a little bit and gives us a path that we can kind of rely on a little more, we will fill in that path And that way it should be cleaner and simpler to follow. So since the bulls are trying to take control of the market, let's look at their key level to the upside that they wanna break through and the bears want to hold. To get that, we use our Fib retracement tool and we come to the top of the wave here and we trace it down to the bottom of the wave, okay? And so we come from the top to the bottom, and that gives us our FIB levels. Now, in a retracement, okay, where you're trying to get a corrective move and then a continuation pattern where, so we were starting down, and you're looking corrective up and then continuation down, okay? Your resistance is the 50% FIB up to the 764 FIB, which in this case is 4512 to 4550. Well, they've already broken through the 50 and the 618, So the next line of defense and the next key level for the bulls and bears is going to be 4550, which is the 764 retrace of the move down. Should the bears hold the 764, okay, and then take out this low, it opens the door to the move down and completing this bigger wave four. If the bulls are able to push through that, okay, if they push through the 764 here at 4550, then it becomes much more likely they're going to attack this high and try to break through that. Now, it may not be directly. They may push up, you know, through the 764, pull back, and then come back and attack it again, and then take out that high. But that would be the uh, likely scenario if they broke 4550. So 4550 tomorrow is our key level for both the bears and bulls to the upside. Now, if they hold 4550 and they start to move down, then the key level becomes Friday's low here at 4439, might be 4438, but right in that region, whatever this low was, If they take that out, that opens the door to the downside and a big move down for the bears. So for the bulls to take control, they need to break 45.50. For the bears to take control, they need to break 44.40. Now, if you're wondering about an upside target, if the bulls are able to break through, okay, you get that with a slightly different tool. It's over here in trading view, and it's called the uh, trend-based FIB extension tool. So off of this low, okay, you'd come up to the high that you would consider wave one and down to the bottom of wave two. And that gives you the fibs that you can see up here uh, that we have labeled. Now, a common target for wave three is this 1618 fib at 4644. So should the bulls break through 4550, okay, again, we may get a pullback and then a move up. But the ideal target then for wave three would be this 4644 area. And that's what the bulls would be looking to do if they can break through 4550. Again, though, if they can't break the 4550 area and they start to move down this 4439 area is key so really it's pretty simple guys 4550 to the upside is our key level for the bulls to break through and bears to hold and 4440 is the key level for the bulls to hold and bears to break through all right so again as we figure out which way they want to take this thing i will start to fill in the path for you so that we can have a better understanding of our targets but for now i wanted to keep it clean and simple because there's just too many alternate paths to have on here Okay, guys, so over on the NQ, we're going to keep it simple there as well. They have a little bit more room to play with. They've only reached the 50% retracement of this move. So you've got, you know, your high to your low, and then your FIB retracement tool here. Okay, so they've only reached the 50% retracement. So that's just the bottom of the resistance box. They can push it all the way up to 1550. Basically, it's 15048, but we'll round it to 15050. They can push up to 15050 and still have resistance and push this down. So on the NQ, the resistance box comes in at 14814, 
all the way up to 15050. So they have a lot of resistance to play with here and they can still hold that and push lower. However, if they break through again, it's more likely they attack this high and end up breaking through in that regard. To the downside, it's Friday's low right here at 14,371. So if you start to see a resistance hold and a move down, the bears want to break this 14,371 area to start a more direct move lower. Okay, guys, so very simple today. We kept it easy and clean. We went through the key levels. And then as this fills out, we will fill out the pattern so that it's a little less cluttered with all of the ABCs and 123s. Again, key resistance here is 14,814 up to 15,048. And then if you see a move down, they need to hold 14,371. Otherwise, it opens the door to a bigger down move. Guys, if you like the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. Okay, come on over, check it out. Okay, come to our membership plans and you come in there and I have two awesome plans for you. One is to get into my room, the Invest with Jacob room. And the other one is the Invest with Jacob plus PT's throne room. If you don't know anything about PT, he's one of the best traders I've ever been around. He blows the market out of the water. And guys, you get a seven day free trial. So come check it out, kick the tires. If you don't like it, no big deal. You can cancel it, no cost to you, but just worth checking out and seeing what we're all about over here. And this week only guys, expiring on Friday, you can use the code WELCOME2022 for a 15% discount on either membership. So you get a one week free trial plus 15% off with the code WELCOME2022. Okay guys, key takeaways for today. On the S&P, we're watching two key levels, 45.50 to the upside, because that's the 764, and 44.39, or Friday's low, to the downside. If the bulls can break it to the upside, we have a setup to go towards that 46.44 area at the 1618. And if the bears can break it to the downside, it opens the doors to a bigger move down. On the NQ, or the NASDAQ, your resistance level is 14.814 up to 15.048. The bears need to hold that and push down and break Friday's low down here at uh, 14,371. But if the bulls are able to push over this 15,048 level, it opens the door to a move higher. All right, guys, that is the market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.